I'd like to introduce Kelly Slater. 10-time world champion of surf and one of the greatest surfers of all time. He's passionate and committed philanthropist dedicated to preserving the world's oceans with the Kelly Slater Foundation. You know, I find technology has kind of almost split people. Some people have gone, well, I don't, you know, I want to tune out from that and be more in touch with who I am. And some people think I got to be right on the forefront of that and I have to know everything that's happening about technology. I'm probably somewhere lost in the middle. Now we're getting to a place where everything there is to know can be found out right now. Any one of you can pick up your phone and find out pretty much anything that almost anyone in the world knows. We're coming to a point now where it's just that, that's, the way, that's the way of the future. It really is like the Matrix, the movie. Whoa. Everyone is tapped into this one thing and um, you know, th there's something great about that and something scary about that at the same time and I think that's what Will brought up before about people being scared of what that brings, you know, what is the future of that, what, what's Big Brother doing looking at us and tracking us and all this kind of stuff and I don't know, it just sort of leads me to a thought that, that the Dalai Lama spoke about earlier and that's having compassion and doing the right thing and if you're doing that it doesn't matter who's watching you, it doesn't matter who's listening in or anything, maybe they'll learn something. Has anyone in this room ever gone to a recycling plant and watched what happens and how much of that gets recycled and, and and does it go, you know, what percentage of recyclables that you put in your, in your, on the side of the street every week goes back into actually being pulled out of the system or reused in the system, or does it just go into the ocean? And so we're finding, you know, there's, there's a gyre out in the middle of the Pacific that's as big as Texas or bigger, and it's just getting bigger and bigger, and it's just filled with these little bits of plastic, and, you know, we're just inundating the ocean with this stuff, and... The ocean's much bigger than we can even imagine. It can hold more than we can even imagine, and we're, we're, we're littering literally every square inch of the place. And it's, you know, what's the end game in that? Where, where does that go, and how do, we, how do we create a difference, like you said earlier, to some kid in Arizona? How does, how does that impact, you know, how could I, as a surfer, impact somebody who lives inland somewhere? And so we, we had a little talk about that, just trying to, don't use plastic bags when you go to the store, you know, and, and actually make a movement to try to get your, your city to stop plastic bags. That's one simple way a kid could start some kind of movement at school. But, oh. I mean, there's endless movements. I work with Sea Shepherds, I've worked with Surf Ride Foundation, I've worked with artistic <coughs> surfers. The list goes on and on. There's so many things to be passionate about and be in touch with and, and be um, compassionate for in the world. And um, there's no one that's greater than another, they're all really important, they all work together and you know we all do have an effect on each of those things. What led you guys to your passion and do you think that in um, impacted you greatly to make a change in the world? Mine was by default. My mom liked to sit on the beach and get a suntan. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> That's amazing. There was not much, I didn't have much choice. Uh, no, I had no I, choice, I had to surf. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I grew up also um, without much money, uh, basically pretty poor. My parents were really struggling and um, just trying to sort of scrape money together. And I didn't really realize it till later, but surfing was kind of like an escape for me. It was something I could do by myself the way I wanted to do it. And I'd watch waves and imagine how you could ride the wave, the line you could draw on the wave or whatever. And then, you know, I had heroes and I obviously people influenced me. You know, my, my dad drove me to all my surf contests, my mom. Um, you know, she, she always kept me in my place, you know, always kept me grounded and, you know, she always told me if I ever got a big head, she would, she would beat my ass, <laughs> she would smack me and do whatever. She would threaten me a little bit, but it was all for the right reasons and uh, <laughs> sort of just, you know, kept me on, a, on a, a straight and narrow path, really. What do you think has allowed you guys to make a difference as opposed to, you know, another kid in your school or... You know, some kid in high school, I don't, yeah. <laughs> um, thinking big, you know, I, I come from a, a small city in, in Florida, in central Florida, and um, there's not too many people in my city who've sort of spread out around the world, and I, I live around the world, I travel around the world, and it, it's, it's really great, it's a lot of fun, but I think as a kid, I had a lot of um, ideas that were really big, and both my parents had passions that they never really followed. 
My, both my parents loved to play music. Dad played guitar. My mom loved to sing and play banjo. My dad did a little bit of um, theatrical acting. And, um, but they never really followed their dreams, either one of them, you know. And I think that was one thing my mom always wanted for me. She always wanted me to follow my dreams and, and to think big. Don't, you know, don't just think of, like, you know, just a little problem you have at school or just a little. I mean, you've got to take care of those things, too. But it's thinking about the, you know, someone like the Dalai Lama, he's thinking about the whole world every time he makes a decision, you know. And, and if people think, if more people think that way, more big, great things happen. Well, what I heard was that really anyone who really wants something done can accomplish it with enough work and enough effort. So if you can make an impact with, uh, you know, the people who look to you for an answer or an idea or whatever, then, you know, it's important to do that.